Right. Welcome to the Wake Up Nigeria Kitchen for the first Monday in December. Now, something fresh, refreshing right here in the kitchen is Chef Mo. Look at that white smile. Good morning, my amazing people. <laughs> <laughs> you look so excited to cook this morning. Yes. Excited to have all these ingredients in front of you, ready to throw down. Uh -huh. You came prepared, Chef Mo. Yes, so. You came prepared. <laughs> Uh, let's talk about where you're from. Where are you from? So I'm from Lebanon, okay. Beirut, actually. Okay. And uh, I have been in Nigeria for five years, actually. Oh. I have been on the studio before one oh, day. Oh, okay, guys. okay. I think Fantastic. you know me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the amazing chef. <laughs> I like to cook some Nigerian local dishes and some international dishes. Uh -huh. And let's, let's throw it up today, some mix between continental and Nigerian. Okay. Continental aspects and Nigerian aspects we discuss right now. Yes. Sir. Let's talk ingredients. So we have, first of all, we have the red, uh, green pepper, okay. onion, red pepper, mm. crayfish, mm. vegetable oils for frying. Mm. We have flour to mm. combine all mm. the plantain. Okay. And then we have seasoning cubes. Yeah. We have fresh prawns. And even, guys, you have, if you have chicken, if you have beef, if you have uh, goat meat as well, you can use it. But you know the economy now, so... Yeah, yes, yeah, can... so... <laughs> You have to be very careful the ingredients you put on your list these days. 100%. Yeah, but these look very fresh. Mm -hmm. uh, and you've already done some prepping. You've chopped everything down. Yes, sir. Really smooth. Uh, let's talk about this. What's this? It's uh, tomato. Just, tomato mix. Just tomato. Did you tomato make mix. it yourself or you... Uh, I was just made it. I chop it. I boil it small and okay. I put it aside to get cold and okay. ready for set up. All right, fantastic. And of course, how could we forget... The, the plantain, plantain, the main it's guy. Very, it's very important, the plantain, to be ripe. Okay. Very, very important to give us the sweetness and then to get mixed all of us together. Okay, fantastic. So, Chef Mohammed is here to create some plantain... Bowls. Exactly. I wanted you to say it, not me. Uh, we are going to be using all these interesting utensils you brought as well. You have a lot of wooden utensils. Does the wooden to, utensils... To give me this local vibe. Oh, interesting. Uh -huh. Local vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we begin now? So, let's begin with our chopping mm, our okay. prawns okay. and chopping our plantain. All right. So we can mix everything together now. All right, so let's move all these items out of the way. Because when Chef Mo starts, we might need to prepare ourselves. So uh, we're chopping them down into very small. Very small, so it will get combined, and we're gonna the bowl is not gonna start falling. All right. <laughs> so uh, we, we need with... the vegetable oil, of course, to be uh, preheating so that it's nice and hot uh, by the time we mix together all these ingredients. But let's go um, through these ingredients uh, on the screen. Uh, for you one more time. You have them in your house probably. You have plantain, onion, everybody has chili pepper. Some people have crayfish, seasoning cubes, salt, flour, prawns. And then the sauce is gonna have tomato, chili, onion, green, red peppers, salt, and seasoning cubes. Plantain balls with prawns. 100%. Fantastic. All right, great. We are gonna be taking a quick break right now while Chef Mo gets started. Make sure you start with us and use our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on All right, so we're making plantain balls here with uh, Chef Mohammed, and he's been, you know, prep, really prepping for this meal to come together. So now let's start what? doing our sauce. Fantastic. And then we will start pounding our plantain yeah. and preparing and mixing our things. Okay. So we will start our hot fry pan. Okay. Is we'll, it hot? It's hot, yes? Yes. Okay. We'll add some small vegetable oil. Mm. Okay. We start with our finely chopped onion. Mm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So how many onions? Is this a whole onion or more than one? It's like uh, 500 grams of onion because the onion will be, sep uh, will be shared between the plantain and the sauce. Okay. So we're not going to put everything here. Okay. We'll put small not to much. start okay. our sauce. Mm -hmm. While that's warming up, mm -hmm. um, we have quite a lot of seasoning here. Mm -hmm. Are we using all the seasoning? For sure, no. So as well, okay. we need... The most important thing mm -hmm. is to test your food. Okay. And you put small, you test, then if you need to add, you add. add. Okay. So the secret of a best chef is on his tasting his own food. Mm. In every step, mm. you need to test. Mm. Not only at the end, every step. Yeah, we put onion, 
We put tomato sauce, we test. We ah. add salt, we test. We add seasoning, okay. we test again. Okay. So this is the best Fantastic. secret. Fantastic. For if you missed the list of ingredients earlier on, this is prawns or is it shrimp? Shrimp, prawns? It's shrimp. Shrimp, sorry, yeah. shrimp. We have flour, we have crayfish, crayfish. seasoning cubes, salt, salt. Uh, green peppers, red peppers, onions, of course, already uh, in the pan with some vegetable oil, and tomato. So this process of getting your tomato, this looks like what they get in the can. Yes. It looks like it. 100%. Mm. For you to get the best consistency of the tomato, first of all, you bleach your tomato, you mm. peel it. Oh, okay. Then you blend it. Okay. You cook it small, so like this, you can preserve your tomato for long shelf. So oh. it's not going to spoil inside your fridge. You can store it inside freezer or you can store it inside fridge wow. for Fantastic. your next things. Okay. And it can last for how long? Maybe a week? Inside the freezer, it can last you for three, four months. Wow. Inside the fridge, three days. Fantastic. Because the tomato is high on acid, mm, so mm. it will spoil very quick if you okay. put it inside the fridge. Mm. So the onions are here. Start to fry. Yes. What do we need next? So I just need a small coloration, mm. so it's not going to give me this pungent or sharp onion taste in my sauce. Okay. So when it changes color, it means that the, the flavor is a little the less sharp. Yes. Okay. Uh, the sugar start to caramelize. Mm. I didn't even know there was sugar in onion. No, there is, there is oh. sugar in onion. And even in the garlic, there's more high sugar. In garlic? Yes. Goodness me. Okay, all right. I'm learning, chef. I'm learning, chef. Uh, after this, what goes in after this? Tomato. Tomatoes. Yes. And then... We can put our tomato sauce now. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's the sound we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Okay, done with that. So how long do we wait for this to, uh, to mix, to cook? Like approximately 10 to 15 minutes. All right. And then we add other ingredients. 100%. All right, at this point, you're following along well at home. If you have these ingredients at home, you should try and send us a video. Use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. See if you can cook like Chef no Mo right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Amazing. All right then. Speaking of amazing, what Chef Mo has put down here today is definitely amazing. Mm. Some seafood plantain balls right here. Mm -hmm. And deliberately seafood was mentioned in there because it's yeah. not a regular plantain. Trust yes. me, I had a taste and it's the best of both worlds. <laughs> you know what? At this point, we need to have our guest oh, taste it. Please have a taste quickly. Mm, the and taste of the thing. cooking is in the eating. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's here. Mm. There's a certain sourness with that sauce that makes it oh, absolutely heaven. You're going to like it. And that's the right texture. That's the mm -hmm. right texture. Can right I dip? There? Yeah, yeah, that's sure. what it's there for. That's the whole idea, right? Yeah. Idea. Mouthful. Mm. Right from the start. Mm. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> All the flavors. Chef Bo, once again. again. Mm. Lovely, mm. lovely. You can add pepe as much as you want, so mm. you can balance it. I, wa I give it to you without pepe, so you will feel all the flavor. Yes, sir. Once we go off camera, I'll forget my manners. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really digging. All right. This is nice. Well done. Thank you so much. Nice. So we've had a marvelous Monday with Chef Mo in the kitchen. Yes, indeed. Of course. And we have Mazzino, Winnie, myself, and OK Cassie. <laughs> Who's busy eating? Yes. <laughs> Continue, boss. It's all about you. And of course, you at home, trying it at home. Show us what you've done. Use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC with all your posts and let us know. Yeah, don't forget to follow us on YouTube and make sure that you're smashing that uh, follow button on yeah. there as well. And also the notification one so you'll be the first to know each time we make a post. Like everything that happened here today, Yeah. up on YouTube. Definitely. So guess what? We're live on Twitter right now. So you can always follow up and watch it again later on. Starting from tomorrow morning, make sure you uh, find our Twitter handle. That's at TVC Connect and watch us live. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.